it's your girl bonafide tay and i'm back with another video if you're not applying that pressure chasing that bag or finessing then what are you doing sweetie by the time of this video y'all already know what's about to go down um so before i even start y'all i've been wanting this bag for the longest i think when they first started doing the tote bags this one the mesh one when it came out it kept getting sold out and i finally was able to get it from sets and fifth um like a week ago so yeah we're gonna get into all of that so stay tuned okay so y'all wanna know what's in a girl bag let me just show y'all this is all in my bag <laughs> this is the bag i gotta show y'all a close up of it so so cute so so cute okay but for real though Okay, y'all, so the first thing I keep in my bag is my key shades. They are called Fully Booked. Um, this is how they look. These are my little hater blockers. You know the vibes. Yeah. So, keep those in there. They're black. Next, I have my emergency lash kit. It's a little Calvin Klein wristlet. And I keep in here, because I do individual lash clusters, like the clusters on my lashes. So I keep like a backup of lashes. I got my um, Fowler and nail glue, because I wear press-ons. And I got like some lash adhesive glue from LA Colors. I never used it, so you know, I just keep that in there. And I got a mascara wand as well to brush these lashes out okay um next is my crossbody uh no wait it was attached to my coach uh crossbody it's the poppy crossbody by coach but i unattached this little part that it's supposed to hold like your ids and stuff so this was in here my id my debit cards but i also keep my airpods in here too i just thought it was cute so but yeah you can unattach it right here and attach it to the actual purse to make it longer but i took it off and just kept it in in my little bag so next we have the this is where i keep like extra lip gloss and stuff like that so it's another little baggie um i got some mascara i want to learn how to do like the bottom of my lashes like with mascara but girl i don't know what i be doing they be getting on my actual like skin so yeah, I gotta figure out how, how to do that. But got that beauty supply store lip gloss. And I got a Charlotte Russe. My friend gave me this. It's a Charlotte Russe lip gloss in matte. And it's in the color, I mean, hot cocoa. Next we have my e.l.f. lip plumping gloss. And it is peach bellini. And then I have the, um, I have some extra lash glue for like my strips. I keep a pair of strips on me because you never know, you know, when your lashes is really messed up. I also got some nipple covers in here and, um, I keep some backup mascara ones as well. But I also got like this clear eyes cooling effects because this is for dry, this is where best for dry eyes and I have dry eyes, but I also wear contacts. So you know, when I'm taking a break, I'll just put my, my glasses on or something like that. But that's what's in that bag. Next, we have my prescription glasses. Oh, y'all yeah, ain't see that. But we got my prescription glasses. They need to be adjusted. I just got them, so. Oh, I can't see nothing. But these are them. They got to be adjusted because, yeah. But, yeah. They may look crooked because... I only wore them for like one week and I forgot you can't like really, you know, lay your head down or like if you laying down, you need to take your glasses off because, yeah. So those are my lashes come with a little, uh, I mean not my lashes, those are my glasses and they come with a little cloth to clean them off. So that's what's in there. Let me close it. Then next we have my Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy. Um, I recently found out that I had this hydrotic eczema on my hands and it's caused by stress. So I keep this on deck. I used to have eczema as a kid, but it um 
Let me make sure I ain't got nothing on the sides of my mouth. But it um went away and now all of a sudden your girl got eczema on her hands. So that's it. I keep a brush in here as well for my hair. What else I got in here? It's Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Perfume. This little thing was $30, y'all. Like, what the world? Like, but it smells so, so good. But I don't want to mess up my Chanel, so I ain't gonna put it on. Um, keep some gum up in here, extra, 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 period. And I got some hand sanitizer. This thing say contains 70% alcohol. I don't think that's good, but you know, I keep me some hand sanitizer on deck. Um, and I got my favorite candy, which is Rips. Rips, Rips, Rips. It's really good. You can get this from the dollar store. And I got some Edge Booster edge control that I keep in here as well. What else I have? Oh, and I also got my contact solution. So when I want to take my contacts out and put, you know, either like get my eyes a break or something like that or put my glasses on, I'll just put my contacts in this solution. And next, that is it for the bag actually, it's clear. But we gotta get into the flap. So, the little pink flap on the, it's got like two little inserts, like two little holders right here. And then it's got the zipper part right there. So, let's start. Okay, on the left side, I have my BHB, as Cash Dog call it. You got to have a BHB, girl, okay? That's my baby hairbrush. That's what it's called. Um, next, I got a pen. And I got a, um, this is for lashes. But I just um, keep it as like some lash tweezers. But I just use it to get my car out of the ATM if I can't get it with, you know, my nails on or something like that. That's what I keep that for. Then I have a hookah tip. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Okay. And next we have, so I got some wipes up in here as well. But I also got my cards in there. Got like my uh, social security stuff, you know, like my um, insurance and stuff like that. Next, okay, the next pouch side I have um, my COVID vaccination card. I got some hauls because your girl was feeling a little bad earlier this week. I thought I had COVID or something like that, but it was just a sore throat. So, yeah, these are pretty good. Okay, so I keep my favorite go-to lip gloss, like lip gloss and lip pencil in here, as well as like my favorite just like, you know, like lips, lip chapstick type of thing. So I got the cocoa butter lip therapy. I used to use Carmax, dry my lips out and never like, my lips always felt chapped with Carmax. So I went to this cocoa butter lip therapy. It gives like a tingling feeling. It's really good and it keeps your lips moisturized for a long time. So yeah, and you don't get that, you know, that white stuff around your mouth. Let me make sure I ain't got nothing. Okay, I had, had to make sure, but yeah. You keep that. Next, we got my lip pencil. It's in LA Colors. This is what I have on my lips right now. And it's chocolate. It's LA Colors chocolate. And then I got this baby fat lip plumping. And it's called Pink Glass. It does not do no lip plumping. Okay, no, it don't. This little thing was, on, if you go on the baby fat website, I think it's like $18. But I got it from Amazon on sale for like $3.99. I was not finna pay no $18, but I really wanted to try it out. And um, I ended up buying two of them off of Amazon. But yeah, like, I would suggest you get it off Amazon if you really wanna try it. Cause it'll be a waste of $18, especially if it don't do the whole lip plumping. You don't feel it tingling, none of that. So, yeah. Okay, and then this, I just had like a debit card in here. This is my sister's, gotta give it back to her. But okay, so the next thing we're gonna get into the zipper. This is the last part of it. So let me unzip it. So in here, I just keep some strips, ironing strips, just in case you never know. So I keep these in there. Um, what else I got in here? I got a tie to go 
pen just in case. You never know when you're gonna need it. I'm a little clumsy, so and I keep me some lip, I think it's teeth, what is it, floss placards or something like that. I keep those in there for flossing. And I got some money up in there. I think it's like $28 or something like that. Just a few dollars. And then next I have this right here. So I got my contacts, some backup contacts. You never know when you're going to need a pair because let me tell y'all a quick story. So I went to the nail salon one time and I was back home in my hometown. And I never wore lash. This was when I first started learning how to wear lashes. So I got them to put it on. And I think they used some hair glue or something. Like, this was at the beginning. So, she got it on my contacts. I don't know how it got on my contacts. But, like, it would not come off my contacts. So, I had to throw, like, take the contact out. Because it was irritating my eye. And for that whole weekend, I didn't have no backup contacts. None. I'm trying to make sure I ain't got nothing on my lips. You know, you gotta check. But then, also, I have, like, a panty liner. I have some band-aids some wipes and some Tylenol just in case you never know when you're gonna need this stuff right there so I'm gonna get a headache or something that's what I keep right there and that's it I keep this authentication card by Mark Jacobs in there and that's pretty much it so I want to do a mini little review so I was really I'm really in love with this purse okay this is gonna be my purse all 2022 because I never spent this much money on no bag. So, yeah, the only thing I will say that I don't like about it, it did come with the straps, but I don't care to wear the straps. I just like to hold it like this. But um, I don't like that this, the zipper part, this, you know, you zipper the purse with is covering the flap for this. So you gotta pull this zipper part just to get inside here. It be in the way, like it's in the way. Um, another thing I didn't like, cause I bought this bag from Saxon Fields is that it did not come with a duster like you know you never know when you want to put your bag up i think some of the martin jacob bags do have like that magnetic thing where you can pull it on the you know pull your zipper out on the outside and it'll attach mine don't do that but i guess because it's mesh it wouldn't really work but this is the bag and this is my baby okay y'all gonna see this all 2022 i'm not even playing but that's the only thing I can say about it. I really love it. It can get kind of heavy. This is the smaller one. Um, they do have a bigger one, but I think this is the best size for me. So I think this is like the, cause it didn't specify, but like they did have a bigger one, but this one's the mesh tote. Um, if you were to compare it to like your Marc Jacobs, I think it's the small, it's not like the mini. So it's bigger than the mini, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have in my bag. Tell me in the comments what type of Marc Jacobs bag you're interested in or which one you have. Um, I would love to hear that. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because, yeah, period. Until next video, Bonafide Tate is out.